Hi everyone, so you probably noticed already this square on my face. And this is the live feed directly from my EM1 Mark II with face detect on in video mode. Uh, and I wanted to elaborate on a couple of the videos that uh, Camera Conspiracies put out. And he has a terrific channel, if you haven't seen it by now, uh, you should check it out. The, the guy is uh, very entertaining to say the least. And uh, But one of the videos he made was about the EM1 Mark II and the upcoming EM5 Mark III. And he was very excited uh, about the autofocus capability in our Olympus cameras, especially now that the EM1 Mark II has uh, updated the firmware and improved the autofocusing significantly. Unfortunately, he didn't have an EM1 Mark II, but I do. So. Uh, that leads me to the other video I wanted to talk about that he did was about the perfect camera now uh, is the Panasonic SH-1, I think. You know, the video version of their full-frame cameras that they have out now. Uh, and he kind of sat in his chair, very similar to I am now, and then just kind of, you know, weaved back and forth, front and back, side to side. And the Panasonic did okay. I mean, it did okay. It was a little bit slow, I thought, relative to other cameras. So I'm gonna give that demonstration that he could not on the M1 Mark II about the, with the autofocus now with the new firmware update. And as you can see, I mean, I, I updated this camera a month or two ago, and ever since then, I have not had to autofocus this camera at all. I used to shoot all my vlogs I have my setup over here. Uh, I'll show you. You know, I have that thing over there, right? And I would set that thing to manual focus and then sit in this chair right here and do my tutorials and things. And it was fine, you know? I mean, most videographers, they prefer to manually focus on a point and then rack focus or focus pull whenever they want. but. More and more now, people are relying on the autofocus. And, you know, the cameras, for the most part, are starting to keep up. Like the Sonys have done a good job. The Panasonics, they've improved somewhat. Like, I like what I saw on the SH-1. But in my opinion, none of those cameras really compare to the EM-1 Mark II. Uh, so let's just do a quick couple of tests. Uh, you know, very simple ones, okay, and this is just for video, and I'll talk about the photography side uh, in a little bit, but, you know, if I move over here, you can see the square stays on my face. If I move to the other side of the frame, and I'm moving back, I've, I've moved back roughly uh, about a foot, you know, and now I'm back uh, about as far as I can go, but if I come all the way up very quickly, you can see it keeps up really well, and if I take my face around like this, I think the square is gone now. That's the thing is I can never see <laughs> see the square when I'm not facing the camera. But it, it picks up pretty quickly. And if I go totally out of frame, and now it's focused, let's let it focus onto the back wall. You can see it goes right to the back wall, no problem. And then as soon as I come back in frame, it's right back on me. And it has been spot on 100% ever since that new firmware update. And I've never had to uh, manual focus on any of my videos anymore. Uh, I just leave it on autofocus with face detect and I'm good. So, uh, he, like, I think the other thing he did is, you know, he got up really close like this. I, I mean, nobody wants to see the veins in my eyeballs, but... <laughs> You know, I mean, it's it's way faster than the Panasonic SH-1, by far, right? No problem at all. Uh, and then we can do like Tony Northrup's been doing lately, right? You know, he's been kind of showing these cameras. But see, it, it focuses right on my Pen F, and then back to me, and then back to the Pen F, no problem. And this 12 to 40 Pro lens has a pretty close focusing distance, I think. I, I, like this is about six inches. This is about two inches. That's probably, probably too close. I'd have to back up. So that seems to be the minimum focusing distance. 
Now, when I pull the camera away, my face is going to be very blurry, but the camera should be able to pick right back up where it left off. And that's, that's usually where cameras have a problem with uh, face detect. Uh, and I saw this when he was doing the Panasonic SH-1 video, that when the face gets really blurry, uh, like in a scenario like that, the camera has a hard time detecting what a face is, right? Because now it doesn't look like a face anymore, it's just, just mush. But it's amazing, this camera just, you know, works its magic and finds my face again, no problem. Uh, now on the photography side, um, I haven't tested like the eye detect uh, because I, I just don't have a model. And I was thinking I was gonna do like maybe continuous uh, or custom timer and do some selfies, but uh, that's that's not like a real world scenario, right? So when I, when I get a model or someone to volunteer to be a model for me for that kind of testing, I'll do it. But I can speak to the, the auto-focusing uh, when I'm doing like birds in flight or I'm doing uh, just about anything else, every lens I've put on this camera since then, it's like a new lens, especially this um, 75 to 300. Right here. I mean, I did some uh, birds in flight uh, pictures. Uh, I'd show them to you, but I can't find them now. I may, may not have offloaded them yet, but uh yeah this thing this thing it performs so much better now on this camera than it did before and i'm not sure why but it does and the same thing true for uh the 75 millimeter f18 that thing wow i just couldn't believe it it's like really fast now so they did something to improve the speed of the autofocusing or how it's controlling the lens, how fast they can control the lens, in addition to the overall improvement in autofocus in general. So uh, if you haven't updated to the firmware 3.0, it may be a little higher now, I think it might be 3.1, but uh, you need to do that. And if you've been thinking about the EM1 Mark II as a vlogging camera, uh, and you want something durable and weather sealed and all of that, then yeah, this is a great choice. Uh, until the EM5 Mark III comes out, that remains to be seen how durable and weather sealed it is. I mean, it's supposed to be weather sealed, but the durability I question a little bit compared to this camera. Although I'm sure it's gonna be fine because I've owned several, or I have four Olympus cameras and they're all extremely durable and very tough. And I can tell you that because I've dropped them so many times uh, and they still work. Um, but anyhow, hopefully you found this helpful. If you've been wondering what the autofocus is like now on the EM1 Mark II, it's much better.